Okay, well, we're gonna come down here and see what we can see. There's been some Bigfoot reported sightings in this area. There's a broken tree. Another river, same river, different spot. Right, that's the same river. Same river. There's some deer tracks. The deer. This is a nice little area We're down in between these hills. Kind of surrounded and sheltered. Oh, what's up here? I always do that. What's up here? What's over there? Let's go look this way. Like there's some whoop <laughs> almost fell. Old horse trailers. Oh, somebody comes out here. There's a burning barrel. Some wood that's been cut up. been digging. It's abandoned bus. I'm probably on somebody's property. I just want to see what's up here. Kind of looks like a good squatchy area, close to the river, sheltered from the wind. If I was Bigfoot, I'd probably hang out here once in a while. I don't want to stay too long because I think I'm on somebody's property. So we're going to make our way back. Can you hear the snow crunching? Is 
Same spot, I almost fell again. <laughs> I would say I'm taking the path less traveled, but looks like it's pretty well traveled by the deer, so. Oop, stump. And there is the elusive Jen. Did you see her? Oh, there she is again. Not Bigfoot, but it's a she squatcher. There's Jen. <laughs> I know, I said I was taking the path less traveled, but not really because it's traveled by deer. <laughs> That's like, I can't see you anymore. Well, there's an abandoned bus and a horse trailer back there, and there's a ladder and a burn barrel on the top. How you doing, Tammy? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Feels good to be out. Yeah. Did you see any prints back there that looked interesting? Just deer. Just deer? We can't get to the gravel pits. Yeah, they got the sign. The road's closed and no trespassing signs up and... And fencing and everything, so... Won't be getting back there today. I thought the road went closer to that, so... But hey, that's all right, don't you? We'll walk on back up here and see if we catch anything interesting. We did get to see the wild turkeys. <laughs> Ooh, careful. I know I almost wiped out right there. I'm like, oh, same spot. I like how the, the river opens up right there. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And hey, the snow wasn't too deep here. The snow we were trekking through earlier was a lot deeper. We did see some hunters stopped along the road and hunting off this road here earlier, so I didn't dare go too deep without any blaze orange or she squatchers pink on. <laughs> so we know the hunters are still out, so yeah, there's snowmobiles once in a while. They're probably hunting too. So back through there is a gravel pit that, and there's one on the other side of the road here too. And we have three separate reports from three different individuals on three different occasions that have seen Bigfoot walking directly through the middle of them, of where the two patches of gravel pit are. So. This is definitely a squatchy spot that people have seen Bigfoot walking on multiple occasions. Different people at different times. We know there's wild turkeys over there because <laughs> they're for sure over there. We just saw them. We saw them crossing the road. Crossing the river. And then they crossed the road. This time of year, we, we don't get a lot of daylight for, it starts getting dark around 4.30. Look at Tammy's sexy boots. <laughs> awesome, so 
that's kind of the, the wooded area that we were at a little while ago. Tammy explored back there. And that goes on along the river. And again, this is the same river that we were along earlier today. And uh, where we had a report of possible Bigfoot activity up the river from this location. So, and I think we're, you know, 12 or 15 miles away yeah. from that other other spot on the same river. So, definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. So, she's Squatchers. Shining off. Say hi to Tammy.